Welcome to PV Storytime, children's books read aloud. One Snowy Night by M. Christina Butler, pictures by Tina McNaughton. The cold wind woke little hedgehog from his deep winter sleep. It blew his blanket of leaves high into the air, and he shivered in the snow. He tried to sleep again, but he was much too cold. Suddenly, something fell from the sky. Thud! It landed right in front of his nose. It was a present, and it had his name on it. Little Hedgehog opened the present as fast as he could. Inside was a red woolly hat. Hedgehog sighs. He put it on at once. He pulled it to the back. He pulled it to the front. He pulled it to one side, then the other. But it didn't matter how he stretched it to fit. His prickles got in the way every time. By now, the hat was much too big for a little hedgehog. He took it off and stared at it until, at last, he had an idea. He gave the hat a shake and wrapped it up again. He ripped a piece off the label and wrote on the rest. Then he ran to Rabbit's house. Rabbit was out, so he left the present on his doorstep. It was snowing hard as Little Hedgehog tried to find his way back home. The snowflakes flew all around, and he wasn't sure which way to go. Oh dear, oh dear! He said as he wandered to and fro. I shouldn't have come out in this weather, but I know Rabbit will be happy to have a nice woolly hat to wear. Too much snow," said Rabbit, rushing home. He saw the present lying on his doorstep. "What's this?" he squeaked with delight, ripping off the paper. "A woolly hat!" he cried. "For me!" He put it on at once. He tried it with his ears inside, and then outside. He pulled it this way, and he pulled it that way. But it didn't matter how he stretched it to fit; his ears got in the way every time. By now, the hat was much, much bigger. It was much too big for a rabbit. So, rabbit wrapped up the hat once again and wrote on a corner of the label. Then he went to visit Badger. The cold weather made Badger very grumpy. "Merry Christmas, Badger!" shouted Rabbit. "Who's there?" growled Badger. "Merry Christmas!" repeated Rabbit, giving him the present. "A Christmas present?" said Badger. "For me?" Badger put the hat on. He pulled it down over his ears. "How?" About that," he said, looking in the mirror. "Very nice," said Rabbit. "What did you say?" said Badger. "Very nice," yelled Rabbit, hopping off. "Don't you like it?" asked Badger, turning round. But Rabbit had gone. Badger took the hat off. "I can't use this hat," he said. "I can't hear a thing. Too bad. It's such a nice color." So Badger wrapped up the present and marched off to Fox's house. He didn't use a label. Fox was going out exploring. Here you are, friend," said Badger merrily. "A Christmas present just for you." Christmas snapped Fox, puzzled. "Yes, Christmas," called Badger. "Time to be nice to each other." And he trudged home. A hat," sneered Fox, opening the present. "Why would I want a hat?" 
Then he looked at the hat again. He made two holes for his ears and put it on. Satisfied, he went on his way. The white fields twinkled in the moonlight. Fox sniffed around and found a small trail. He followed it this way and that way until suddenly it stopped. There was something under the snow. Fox dug and dug until he found a small hedgehog. It was cold and did not move. Poor little guy, said Fox. He put the hedgehog inside the red woolly hat and carried it to Rabbit's house. Rabbit and Badger were having supper. Look what I found in the snow, cried Fox, bursting in. They all looked into the hat. A hedgehog, said Badger. What's a hedgehog doing out at Christmas time? He should be fast asleep. It's my friend Little Hedgehog, cried Rabbit. He must have gotten lost going home in the snow. Little Hedgehog opened his eyes. Hello, he said sleepily. Oh, this is such a lovely warm blanket. The friends all looked at each other. Rabbit grinned and Fox scratched his head. Hmm, said Badger. I think this woolly hat is just right for Little Hedgehog. Merry Christmas, Little Hedgehog. They all cried, but Little Hedgehog was fast asleep. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you all enjoyed the story. If you like it, please give a thumbs up or share it. And remember to subscribe so you won't miss any new videos. Have a great day and see you in my next video.